That concludes this week's episode of Wire Road. Tune in next week to find out if Charlie wins the three-story mansion. Man, it must be nice to be Charlie, living in a three-story mansion. Yet here I am, a 34-year-old bachelor, living in a single room, in the ghetto area, of a small island town. I already miss the kids so much, I wonder how they're going to do without me. Jared, it feels so weird without Eric in class, I don't like it. I agree Monax, I think his suspension was so unfair I miss him a lot. Okay class, before we get started I would like to introduce you guys to somebody, come on in sir. Class, this is our new principal, Chris. Chris what? That's his name, it's just Chris. So, Principal Chris? NP backslash O, for the last time, it's just Chris. I'm ready for another long night. Well, it's always a long day with these kids, Chris. You will find that out sooner or later. Anyways, does anyone have any questions for Chris? Ah, uh, yes Lawrence? So, um... Is Mr. Steven coming back? Mr. Steven? Do not bring up that stupid fucker around me. It's because of him I am here and I will prove myself to do better. Do not compare me to such a sad lowlife like himself. Class, one thing I forgot to mention is, there is an extensive list of things you may not do or say around Chris, or else he will get really mad. I mean, Mr. Steven has gotten mad before too. So, I already told you not to compare me to a loser. That's it, you were suspended for two weeks. Go home now, you little shit. Wow, I love your style of discipline, Chris. William, you just need to think of the children as little insignificant specks, and every time they do something slightly wrong, you crush them. Crush them and all their hopes and dreams. Aw, oh, Chris, every day I strive to be more like you. Well, William, what can I say? I'm just trying to stay afloat. Connor, I have a really bad feeling about our new principal. I do too. It was so sad seeing Marnix get suspended for no reason. Especially Eric. He was more in the wrong, but there was no reason for him to get suspended or Mr. Steven get fired. I feel like this is the point of no return for Go Anim at high school. Okay kids, today we will be learning physics. Chris? What happened to Mr. Stanton? Oh please, don't even get me started. I fired his ass because he teaches a class called physics but he doesn't actually teach you any fucking physics. All he does is play baby shows in class. That's a waste of a credit. Well, I do agree with that. I am not going to be tolerating any slacking in my school. No more watching Little Bill and Dora the Explorer. Today we will be starting our first physics lesson. Lesson 1, Delta. That concludes Season 4 of Wire Road. Thanks for tuning in and we will return with Season 5 this September. Well, I managed to watch all four seasons have my favorite show. Twice. On top of that I am really hungry and I smell really bad. Maybe it's time for me to take a shower and go get something to eat. Well, I finally showered for the first time in three days. Now it is time I go and make myself food. But, there's nothing to eat in the house. I guess I have to grab some quick groceries from the corner store. It also gives me an opportunity to get some fresh air. Dave. Is that he? Alan. It's been forever. How have you been? Good man, good. How have you been? How is the school doing? Um, yay, about that. Let's talk outside. So, Steve, tell about what's been going on recently. How is the school doing? Well, ah, uh, Alan, you see. I don't work at the high school anymore. What? Why not? Did you get Ray assigned to the elementary school or something? No, I lost my job altogether. I got fired after standing up to Mr. Paul. Steve, you can't be serious. Why did he fire you? One of the students got sent to my office for bringing his camera to school, and we both decided to stand up to Mr. Paul about how we should make YouTube videos at school. After that, the student got suspended and I got fired. Steve, that is such a crazy story. 
William is always trying to get people in trouble. Let me guess, he got Superintendent Samser involved. Yes, earlier this morning he sent a letter to my apartment building, confirming that I was fired. Listen, Steve, I have a way you could get your job back. But how? Come with me, Steve. We are taking a quick trip to my house. So, Alan, what are we doing here? Steve, I am going to tell you a little story. So did you know, before you came along to Samster Junior High, I was the original principal. Wait, you were? I thought you were the cooking teacher. I was when you showed up, but I was the principal before you. I was in a similar situation as you. Mr. Paul and I got into an argument about how Australian lives matter, and he got so mad tasty he demoted me to a cooking class teacher. Wait, really? Alan, I had no idea. So what happened next? On a late Sunday night in 2018, I met up with him at a bar for a quote-unquote business discussion, but I actually just met him though to beat his ass, and then I hurt him so bad he ended up in hospital for a month, and everyone thought he was out sick. Oh, so that's why he was out of school for so long. Yes. I beat him up to show him a lesson, and when he came back, I became the principal of Samster Junior High when he moved up to the high school. Tag's insane. But, what should I do? I'm not big and muscular like you. William could crush me. I know, but instead of beating him up, we can just blackmail him. So if we go on Google and search up the name, William Paul, you will find a lot of interesting results. Adam W. Paul, age 45. Texas public sex offender. Wait a minute, Mr. Paul is a sex offender. Yes. In 2009 he committed 23 offenses and fled the state in hopes that they wouldn't follow him, and he was even banned from appearing in the sex offender shuffle. He stayed in hiding in northern Alaska for two years, and then when GoAnimate City was founded in 2011, he moved here and no one found about his true identity, that is, everyone except me. Wait, this can't be. Surely somebody else must have found out about him. No, he has everyone fooled. His real name isn't even William. It's Adam, he used his middle name as a cover-up name. The only reason I knew is because I'm an ex-police officer. Alan, do you really think I should do this? Well, of course, you should. If you care at all about the school and those kids, you will seek revenge on that fat fucker and show everyone who he really is. Yeah! You're right, Alan. Let's go get our school back. That's the spirit. Ah, what a beautiful morning here at Go Animate City High School. Hello, Adam. Who said that? Steve, what are you doing here? I thought I fired you. Adam, I know your true identity, and if you don't give me my job back then I will be forced to tell the whole town. Steve, you wouldn't dare. Really? Well, how about I go tell your new spasty principal about your criminal record? Chris? Oh, please, he wouldn't believe you anyways. Well, I'm gonna go tell him right now. No you fucking don't. Get the fuck off of me, William. Never. Nobody threatens to reveal my true identity. Go Animate City sees me as William Paul and that's how it's going to always be. This mission will be a piece of cake. William, I already said to get off of me. You are fucking insane. Oh no, it sounds like Steve is under attacking there. You know what, tax it. I didn't want to do this, but I'm bringing out the big guns. I'm calling the police. What another beautiful Tuesday morning, ready for another long night. David Davis, you're under arrest. Wait, what are you talking about? How do you know my name? You have been caught. You, along with Adam William Paul, are going to jail for a long time. You both fled the country to come here under a fake name. What are you talking about? I did nothing of the sort. Nice try, Chris. Come with me, get ready for another long 50 years in prison. We will be back, you haven't seen the last of us. Go Animate City. What's up everybody what did I miss? Congratulations on getting your job back buddy. I'm glad Mr. Paul is finally where he belongs. Well, I couldn't have done it without you Alan. Quick question, who will be replacing Mr. Paul as a teacher? I'm sure we'll find somebody soon, 